Yo, everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is going to be a quick one, a quick rundown of what happened today in Man United. We saw a statement put out by Manchester United telling us that uh, Anthony is back. And, of course, tomorrow we got the big one because all the games are big, guys. All the games are big. Yes, we're playing Crystal Palace tomorrow at Old Trafford. All right, so uh, let's start with the statement from Manchester United. Now, basically, the statement is saying that, look, um, you know, we they have allowed uh, uh, Anthony to come back to the team. Uh, of course, pending investigation. I mean, I, I cannot read the whole statement here. But you can check it on the Manchester United website. I mean, uh, we saw reports yesterday that Anthony was back in the country. And uh, I believe once he got back, he did uh, voluntary went to the uh, Manchester Greater Manchester Police uh, and he was being um, he was interviewed there and um, they allowed him to leave without him being arrested or him posting bail or anything like that uh, so it, it kind of I think based on that information it kind of gave Manchester United that confidence of allowing him to come back because the difference between his situation and uh, of course the, the other one with uh, Greenwood is Greenwood well, well when all that information was put out there uh, about the incident that happened um, he was arrested and uh, you know he had to post bail for him to come out so I think with Anthony because the police did not arrest him uh, yes investigation is still going on uh, United this you know what they took a gamble and say you know what this is Man United Central and I'm your boy Luther make sure to hit the like subscribe notification bell that way you do not miss any new videos coming out of this channel thank you so much peace but say, you know what just uh, instead of um, him being away from the team while the investigation going on this is just allow him to go back so you know in a way uh, for Ten Hag it's good because he's he, he gets to have uh, his winger back you know and for the team is good because okay we need him kind of thing now of course if the investigation comes back with uh, you know he's you know he did uh, do those uh, abuse allegations and yes of course he's gonna be kicked out of the team um, you know and then you know we'll take it from there kind of thing so that's about it Anthony so it's, it, it is a positive Ten Hag today on his press conference he did say that uh, he expects Anthony to be back in the team, I think, by tomorrow, which is Saturday. Uh, he was asking, you know, how is his fitness? He was like, look, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and also today, Ten Hag on his press conference, also he was asked about, okay, it, this one looks like it's sorted out with Anthony coming back. What's the deal with Jaden Sancho? You know, Ten Hag didn't want to discuss about it. He told the reporters, look, I've already said everything I need to say. It's simple. He didn't say, you know, uh, he said that he has said everything. But you know in between the lines he's saying guys listen Sancho knows in order to come back to the team he has to apologize if he's not gonna apologize he's out of the team plain and simple all right so and also on his uh, uh press conference he did talk about um you know he announced that there are more injuries unfortunately we are going to be our you know uh, Lissandro Martinez is going to be out of the team for at least three months which is a disaster like uh i mean the injuries that keeps on piling up it's like non-stop right so so now we're out of lisandro martinez uh he's out and then uh, sergio region he's also out uh with the injury uh, of course no look show so the only fullback that we have fit is uh diogo Dalo, right so diogo Dalo is the only one so that brings us to tomorrow's game um my lineup is going to go something like this, okay? I think he's going to end up doing the same thing he did with uh, Amrabat when we last played Crystal Palace, putting Amrabat on that left uh, left back, and then he's going to drift into the midfield, right? So I think he's going to end up doing that. So my back four is going to be Amrabat. I'm going to go with uh, Lindelof, Varane, and Dalot on the right back. Uh, my midfield, of course, is going to be Casemiro. I'll, I'll do Casemiro, Mount, and Bruno, right? And then on the left, on the left wing, I'm going to have to bring back in uh, uh, Rashi, Rashford. Up top, I'm going to start uh, Rasmus Hoyland. And on the right wing now, on the right wing, I may have to go with, um, you know, I'll put Pelestri uh, out there. But he may switch the midfield, bring in Hannibal back, and then bring uh, put 
uh, either Mount on that right wing or Bruno on the right wing. I prefer to be Mount on the right wing and Bruno stays on the 10. Um, I think we're, we're more balanced that way and then, you know, Bruno is more comfortable right, right there. So, guys, you let me know in your uh, what is your predicted lineup for tomorrow. I know Palace, they're going to come out hard on us. They're going to have all the, the main starters playing because, you know, the last game they didn't really have all the big hitters like Eze, Eze who came later on. He gave us some trouble. So, I think it's going to be a tougher game tomorrow. It's not going to be a cakewalk, but I still do see us win tomorrow. I would say 2-1 is going to be my score prediction. You let me know, guys, what is your score prediction for tomorrow. But again, a win is a must. Um, we have to continue this momentum. The games that are coming up, they're all winnable games. We have to continue the momentum. That's all I got, guys. Do me a favor. Hit the like, subscribe, notification bell as you're rolling out. This is the Man United Central Driving Edition. And hang on. There's a video up here. Let me know what you think that uh, YouTube believes that you will enjoy. Thank you so much. Peace.